Well, let's rock and roll. I've been kind of sleepy this morning due to the fact that I woke during the middle of the night and also due to the fact that well, I may have contracted Chagas disease off of that assassin bug. The it's kind of making me sleepy. They had to shut down this intersection for about 25 minutes. I assume there was some accident or something. They had a big fire engine blocking it and police you were this lane right here all they were allowed to do is go back down decile everybody was having to pretty much it cut off the flow it actually backed up to 130s right over that away the toll road and it backed up east Pflugerville parkway all the way back to interstate 35 a lot of people who routed up down Dessau and into the like Walmart parking lot and stuff, they're, they're still clearing it. it. It was right during lunch hour and it just, and it's also uh, Friday as I recall, a lot of people are leaving for their vacation today, stuff like that. People needing to get to the airport. And this isn't normal for, and it's been just East Flugerville Parkway up to this intersection has been just jam packed for going on about two hours now. Man. People are, we haven't had another, I'm not sure what happened. This probably was some kind of a collision that they couldn't really, they had to block that whole, uh, East Pflugerville and 680 FM 685, also known as Decile Road. They had to block that whole intersection for a while to make sure that everything was cleared properly and nobody got injured. But I can tell there's a lot of... They haven't been too bad. They've been laying off the horns, but you can see it's... But every time we get... They're just still flowing down, moving around to what is a kind of a complicated uh, traffic flow scheme around here. Anyway, it's midday. I, uh, uh, I hate to even show my face. It looks like I'm got lost a fist fight, but you can see there's no bruising. There's no blue and red there. It's just inflammation all puffed up but then there's my little solar panel right there making me the juice I need I was a couple hours slow putting it out this morning because the first thing I did when I got into this position was just take another nap I was uh, and I know I have to wait because the incubation time for you to, I have, I was tested for Chagas the last time I did a blood donation. That's been like t 10 years ago. I came up Chagas negative, but there, you can see how it's, they're just jam packed. It's still, it's funny, they're not really working on that. They've been looking like they've been shoving fiber optics up but it was already an existing concrete conduit like we saw coming into town the other day. They got them all the way out there. They're, they've got a machine that shows that big fiber optics into that conduit about eight feet at a time, slowly, carefully. And they spent weeks vacuuming out any kind of moisture or stuff that was in that conduit, but it's pretty well packed. Just thought I'd give you a little update. I have no idea what the... It was obviously some kind of vehicular problem. And it appeared to be on the... Either right in the middle or on the north side of the intersection. And they just shut her down for about a, about a half, 20, at least 20 to 25 minutes that I know of. Man, it was just, all it was was just people taking right-hand turns were allowed. And 
there was no through traffic going out to 130 for a long time and that's where it appears most of these people are heading to and they're trying to get over to the toll road and go a long distance <laughs> they really haven't been honking horns too much they haven't really been they realize that they're screwed uh, I bet you as soon as because it looks like it's already backing up all the way up the hill again all the way up to Walmart I'm just passing the time here I got nothing to do but wait tomorrow morning actually I plan to bathe sometime tonight put on fresh clothes and then go in tomorrow and demand a blood draw to be tested for Chagas I've demanded a uh, prescription of dexamethasone from my doctor and I of course I haven't checked their system over there at their own Verizon there actually that whole area is still Verizon territory haven't got any confirmation and the pharmacy here hadn't contacted me but early this morning I was demanding dexamethasone because my doctor's nurse was trying to tell me to rub cream you know Benadryl cream or hydrocortisone cream around my eye when you have primary opening of glaucoma the last thing you want to do I think the last thing anybody wants to do is rub some sort of cream what, what is technically in the eye you know what am I going to do with all this you know just let that shit get in my eye no soap and water the gentlest soap that I know out there which is the, the Johnson's baby uh, whole body you know shampoo and body wash that's what I use no dyes no fragrances Piss me off. Anyway, God, it's been like an hour and a half now since they closed that intersection. And it's just not letting up. <laughs> it is it's still at times it's Boy, this intersection has been packed. I'm going to stop it right here. Just reporting on local news. If you're trying to get somewhere today, this ain't the intersection to go through. But that's the way 130 is laid out. It, it doesn't have on-ramps and off-ramps. That Like every street, it's a tollway. That's what they're trying to maintain, high speed in the fast lanes for trucks out there to cut down... They're also, I think they began the uh, construction on I-35 in downtown Austin today, which is probably why we're seeing an increase in traffic for this area. Because a lot of people know that they've got to get off of I-35 and probably, and I don't know, they probably use the tollway to get past Austin. I remember it was reported like yesterday that it was supposed to begin today. And everybody, most of the people in Austin said, no more, no more expansion of 35. Don't really need all that traffic. Make them go around, especially commercial. If you're a commercial and you have no really need to go through the middle of Austin, you should be taking the tollways or the area, other areas around it. You're a commercial operation. This is worse than rush hour traffic. It's been worse, you know, because of the stoppage. It backed thing up for miles. Anyway, I'll let you go now. It's almost 10 minutes. And <laughs> you rarely ever see. In the last couple hours, several thousand vehicles alone have passed through this little area right here. They've done so without an excessive horn honking or shit like that. They're 
they're being cooperative. They're following the Texas rule, which is yield. Bye.